Welcome to this Toby Pro Lab Advanced Screen Project Demo Walkthrough. During this tour, we will explore the features in Toby Pro Lab to design and analyze a visual world paradigm. The visual world paradigm is a paradigm in which a number of visual stimuli, typically ranging from 1 to 4, are presented on the screen, accompanied by audio to guide attention to a particular stimulus or component. Let's see how to navigate to the downloadable sample project. Right-click and choose Extract All to unzip the folder. Open the Unzip Project folder. The folder contains several files. A link to the video walkthrough. A README file. The Sample Metrics export file. A Materials folder which contains the Excel version of the design table, a folder of all of the images used to make the experiment, and a folder of all of the audio files used to make the experiment. To open this file, open Toby Pro Lab and select Open Existing Project and then navigate to this file to open the project. Open Toby Pro Lab and select Open Existing Project. Browse for the experiment name, Toby Pro Lab Visual World Sample Study Task. Here you can find all the general information about the project, such as the recordings made, participants, and recording variables. From the Project Overview window, you can open any recording or navigate to the Design, Record, Analyze modules. The experiment design can be found in the Design module on the top menu. This Visual World Experiment demo contains four main structure elements. Eye Tracker Calibration Experiment Instructions A group with stimulus template elements inside And a Thank You message Select Instructions to open the canvas the stimulus properties indicates that the preview will be shown until a key is pressed. The container properties shows that the single image container on this canvas is set to show the instructions.png image. This image is set to be full screen, with a width and height of 1, and an xy coordinate of 0, 0. This image will show exactly like this on every presentation. Selecting back to experiment structure returns us to the main experiment structure window. The group element contains four stimulus templates. Preview. Fixation cross. Trial display. And blank. Selecting the stimuli block element displays its properties in the properties window. This group is bound to a design table. The design table is a spreadsheet with a single line containing information about one presentation of the sequence of elements included in the group. If a table has eight rows, the contents inside the group will be shown eight times, one for each row of the design table. This group is bound to the design table named Visual World. The table has an operator added to it, with the order type, random operator. This means that the rows of the design table will be presented in a random order. The first element in the group is the preview. Selecting it opens the canvas. The stimulus properties indicates that the preview will be shown for 4000 milliseconds before moving on to the next element. Unlike any instructions element, the pictures to be displayed by these containers are not set to a single media file, but different images will be shown in the image containers on each presentation of this preview. By binding the image container source to a column in the design table, the image that will show in this container on each iteration will be called from the design table. The image width and height is also specified from the design table. In this demo, the image size remains consistent across rows. But setting the size here enables easy and efficient changes across multiple elements and media. The position of each image is also bound to the design table. In this way, the position of the media files can be randomized such that each image type is shown in every location an equal number of times. Unlike with the size, where all images were bound to the same two columns in the design table, here each individual image container will be bound to its respective position X and position Y columns have them displayed in one of the four locations. By binding the size and locations to the design table, 
The physical size or position of the containers shown in the canvas do not matter. On each presentation of the elements in the group, the sizes and positions will be pulled from the design table. The next element in the group is the fixation cross. The stimulus properties is set to show for 1000 milliseconds. Similar to the instructions screen, a single image is set to full screen and will present this exact image on every presentation. Select the trial display. The stimulus properties indicates that the images will be shown for 10,000 milliseconds or until a key is pressed before moving on to the blank element. The canvas is an identical copy of the preview element, with a few additions. First, each image container now has use as AOI selected. This will automatically create areas of interest around each image container that can be used for analysis. Second, the top left of the canvas has two audio containers. Since this experiment is interested in fixations to the images during a particular portion of a sentence, the audio recording of the sentence was broken in two files, one containing the neutral carrier sentence, and one containing the critical article and noun. The top audio container has been bound to the carrier sentence audio file in the design table. The lower audio container is bound to the critical noun region audio file in the design table. Additionally, the audio onset is bound to a column in the table. If audio onset is not enabled for multiple audio files, both audio files would begin playing at the same time at the start of the element and would play over top of each other. Let's hear an example. A kid, orange. Saw. What needs to happen is the critical noun file should play after the carrier file has finished. Like this. The kid, saw, an, orange. To achieve this, the audio onset was used to delay the start of the critical noun audio file by the length of the carrier phrase. These values were placed in the design table, and the audio onset was bound to this value. In this way the onset will change in duration to accommodate the different lengths of the carrier sentences. The blank element is the final stimulus in the group. This element is a blank canvas with a black background and simply serves as a transition from one trial to the next. This stimulus template will show for 700 milliseconds. Select the thank you element. Like the instructions and fixation cross, this element has a single image full screen displayed on every presentation. And will be shown for 4000 milliseconds before the trial is finished. The best way to understand the experiment workflow is to try it out yourself. To begin, click on the record tab to start a new recording. First select the Toby Pro Eye Tracker you wish to use. You can also use the computer mouse without a tracker. Second, select the presentation screen. And third, select the participant or create a new one. Press the start recording button when you are ready to start the experiment and follow the instructions. To replay a recording, select one from the recordings list in the project overview and double click on it. You can replay the recording selected. The replay will show the stimuli that was shown to the participant with her gaze overlaid. The timeline tools allow you to navigate through the recording or zoom in and out within the timeline. In this visual world experiment, it was hypothesized that targets would be identified by the article alone in displays where the article of the two singular objects mismatched, compared to when they matched. This means that the looks to the target should hire for mismatch items compared to match items in the region of time after the article had been spoken but before the noun had been spoken. The data will be exported from the start of the critical region until the participant responded, and more fine-grained analysis will be done outside of Toby Pro Lab. To analyze the data in this way, a time of interest was set from the start of each audio file to the keyboard event. This was done by setting a start event of the start of the critical audio container. And setting an endpoint of a keyboard event. To select and export eye tracking metrics for further analysis, Select Metrics Export from the Analyze drop-down. Select AOI-based metrics TSV export format. The Data Selection menu allows us to select recordings, times of interest and AOI to extract metrics. Specifically, we have selected all recordings in the custom TOI of Critical TOI only. Only the metrics that are relevant for the statistical analysis have been selected from the sections called Event Metrics and AOI Fixation Metrics. And include 
row number, last key pressed, and total duration of fixations. Click on export and save the file on the computer. Toby Pro Lab exports metrics in a tab separated value format. You can open a metrics export file and explore it with Excel or any text editor. Once you export the metrics file, it is compatible with any generic analysis or statistical software package like R, MATLAB, Python or SPSS. To get a better understanding of the Toby Pro Lab data export file, and to get a glimpse of the types of analysis that can be done with Toby Pro Lab metrics, open the Excel file called Visual World Metrics, included in the sample project, and explore it. We hope that this Toby Pro Lab demo guide was useful. Visit connect.toby.com to get access to more learned content or information about Toby products. You can also contact our customer care team for any inquiries concerning your Toby Pro Lab license. To learn more about the advanced screen project type, access the course in Toby Academy.